kids. I have important news for you. What? There's a science-related adventure club to Bridgewater State University. Any grade could go if they're interested. It is not a field trip. If it was a field trip, only Marie and her mom can go with one grade and I had to stay back. We're all going to Bridgewater in this classroom. Everybody. Even Marie and her mom are going. I never been to Bridgewater State University before. I am not sure what to do. Catherine. You'll see. We're gonna learn about science and experiments. They have a special chemistry lab room for that, we do not. Teacher. Where is Marie and her mom? They are going, right? Yes Sally, they are. They are on their way here. Erin is driving and Marie is with her. She texted me they'll be here at 8.51 a.m. The buses do not leave until 10.10 in the morning. So we have plenty of time beforehand. Cool. Attention everyone. Whoever is attending the Science Adventure Club to Bridgewater State University must be ready at 9.50 a.m. Buses leave at 10.10 10 a.m. Thank you. Can't wait. Marie and her mother are here. Let me open the door. Marie and Aaron. Today's adventure club is Bridgewater State University because we were invited whoever is interested to some science and chemistry in their lab. We do not have a science lab. So I wanted to tell you too why. Science experiment? That's awesome. Mom, did you know we're going to Bridgewater State University for a science adventure club? Marie. Yes, I did hear about that. Your first science-related adventure club with the class. Children. The science adventure club is about 45 minutes away. We have to be on the bus by 10 this morning. We need to leave the classroom by 9.50 in the morning. Do you have all your lunches your parents packed for you kids? Yes, yes teacher. 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 Aaron, did you pack Marie's lunch yet? Yes. Marie has a sun butter and jelly sandwich, Welsh fruit snacks, an apple, Drake's yodels and a water bottle. Did you pack anything for yourself, Aaron? Of course. I packed a jelly sandwich, Welsh fruit snacks, a fruit cup with oranges, and an apple juice box. Good to know that. Class, we have at least some time until we leave. Let's start out with bathroom breaks. Does anybody need to go to the bathroom before we leave? Not at all, teacher. I am all set. Do you need to use the bathroom? Yes, Marie. I have to pee. Marie. Caitlin has to go pee. Can you be a dear and take her to the student's female bathroom for me? Yes, I can take her, teacher. Come on, Caitlin, let's go to the bathroom. Marie, Marie. I have to go pee. Does anybody else have to use the bathroom? I'm all set. Me too. Aaron, do you need to go? I'm going after Marie is back with Caitlin from the student female bathroom. I am going to the staff female restroom to pee before we leave. Not right now, teacher. Oh, thanks for the reminder. Speaking of bathrooms, when Marie gets back with Caitlin, I am going to ask if she needs to pee. All right, Aaron. I will respect that. While I go to the staff female bathroom to do my private business, can you do me a favor and ask Marie if she needs to go pee as well? Yes, teacher, I will. Once Marie gets back, I will go and ask her. Marie is back with Caitlin. I'm gonna go pee in the staff women's bathroom. Please ask Marie while I am gone. Whoa! Caitlin could pee. I was so surprised to hear her pee like that but I gave her privacy. Marie, I am going to use the bathroom. Your mother has a very private question for you. Okay? Yes, teacher, okay. Marie, do you need to use the bathroom? The teacher just went to the staff female bathroom. Do you need to pee, Marie? Yes, mom. I have to pee. Please take me, mom. 
You like Marie. You have been drinking water and juice back at home lately. Once the teacher comes back, I can take you to the staff female bathroom. Thanks, Mom. I really appreciate it. The teacher is back. Hold on, Marie. I need to let her in. Teacher, I'm going to take Marie to the staff female bathroom for her to pee. Okay, Aaron, this is fine. It's already 9.45 in the morning. Please be back in five minutes so we can get on the bus by 10 and they drive off at 10.10 10 a.m. Okay, Marie, let's go pee quick to the staff female bathroom. Marie just had to go pee pee before we left. Her mother, my tea Aaron took her just because. It is 9.47 a.m. Once Marie and her mother get back, we need to head for the bus. I'm so excited. We all know that Catherine. We get to go to Bridgewater for four hours and learn about science experiments and chemistry. I never been to Bridgewater State either. This is going to be so much fun. We all know that Sally. You must be excited, aren't you? Heck yeah. That looks like Marie and her mother are back. Let me open the door for them too. Hey ladies. We're getting ready to go. Attention everyone. It is 9.50 a.m. Whoever is interested on in going to Bridgewater State University for the science-related adventure club can head out. The bus leaves at 10.10 this morning. Thank you and good luck. Come on children. Let's head for the bus. Okay class. It is 9.55 in the morning. Let's get on the Pembroke Public Schools bus students. First is Riley, then Catherine, next is Caitlin and last but not least Sally. Me and your teaching assistants will be right here for you all. Marie, it's way too loud on this school bus. Are we even closer to Bridgewater yet? Not even close. Right now we are in Hanson, Massachusetts. We are currently in Hanson. We won't be in Bridgewater, Massachusetts anytime soon. Hanson? Marie, how much longer until we get to Bridgewater State? About 40 minutes left. Come on, Caitlin, you got this. Do you remember the day when it was a school-wide adventure club to Boston for the duck boats and you were fine with the cheering? That's way louder. This bus ride to Bridgewater is nothing. All right, Marie. Please let me know when it's time. Okay, girl. I will let you know when we have arrived. We are currently backing up the Pembroke Public Schools bus. Come on, Caitlin. You got this, girl. It's okay. Marie. 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 We're here, Caitlin. The bus reversing sound is over. Whoa, I have never seen Bridgewater State so large. I see children and staff plus chaperones getting off. Come on, students, let's go see what's happening. Hi. My name's Christine, and I will be teaching you mad science and chemistry labs to see how it works. I am also the science director here at Bridgewater State. We will be learning cool chemistry and science experiments. Let's go inside. Okay, Hobo Mock Elementary School staff and students. We will be learning chemistry and science experiments. We will sit at each table and do some chemistry work here. Does anybody know how chemistry works? Yes, young girl. Chemistry is the study of matter, analyzing its structure, properties and behavior to see what happens when they change in chemical reactions. As such, it can be considered a branch of physical science, alongside astronomy, physics and earth sciences including geology. How did you know that? Well Christine, Catherine is a student in my classroom. She is very very smart. She is still five, but can learn of a seventh grader. That's very impressive. 
Let's do our chemistry kids. How's it going over there, Marie? It's going good. Me, Caitlin, Riley, and Sally are doing a science experiment together. Nice. Any help suggestions over there, Marie? Not at all. But right now, we are having a good time. Marie, I am going to check up on the teacher and Catherine. Call me if you need anything. Okay, Mom. I will. Teacher, how is Catherine doing over there? She's fine. She is learning how to do the actual experiment. But thank you for asking me. Bless you. Thank you, Marie. Wow, Catherine. How did you do that? Magic. I put green mixed with red, and it unexpectedly exploded. You're too smart for this, Catherine, and you're only five years old. You won't be six until like July 12th. It's only late April. I cannot believe Catherine's really good at this. Maybe she should attend this school once older. You really think so, Christine? Yes, I do, Hob O Mock Grade Kindergarten Second Grade Classroom Teacher. She really should. Kids, time to wrap up this science experiment activity and eat your lunches your mother's and father's packed. Kids, time to eat lunch your parents packed for you all.